Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Let us read. Let us read from Nigerian Army. Let us read from Nigerian Army. Share the program if you are joining us. Share the program very, very wide. We are back. This is an important program. The government is interested in it. And we must continue to push. Let me read from here. The general army said. Let us read. Thank you. I remain the fearless IPB evangelist, Mazen Madap Timwachifu. I am from Mondia, but Madam Mude, who did me a man later, when I made him more chassis of Korea. That was you there. And that was in an inri. An inri say, local government in Ojiba province, Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcast on the IPOB. Nandi Khan is our leader. And he is still incarcerated. In DSS solitary confinement, illegally detained, our people should know that matters are rising and you must buckle up. Matters are rising. You follow it up, deal with it. They are rising different matters. These are all why you believe. So the message is to Nigerian army. Let us read from them. Let us read from them. The more they come up, the more we confront them. The more they come up, the more we confront them. If God cannot destroy us, <laughs> is it Nigeria? I mean, how many how many times will you write? How many times will you speak to compare to Radio Biafra Broadcaster? If God cannot stop us, if killings cannot stop us, how many times will you say these lies to stop us? Let me read. Army once IPOB. To stop discouraging Igbo youths from its recruitment exercise. But they told the IPOB doesn't exist. <laughs> <coughs> they lie to you now. You agreed. <laughs> I told you only a Katoriara Fulani will tell you about. Only Fulani Katoriara will tell you about the existence of ESN. Only Nigerian government can tell you about the existence of IPOB. Not a moron, a government contractor. You see, Nigerian government knows people that are fighting them. The men, the men war. The men, the men war. Reminding our people the crimes of Nigerian government and giving them a reason why they must not join the army. We don't just say don't join the army. Then why is the army? Knowing, why do the army know the people that did it to them? Because they know we are state actor. They know we are non-state actor. Now, Nigerian government, through the army, have confirmed that IPOB is a state actor. I'm going to have a lot of people who are I'm going I will repeat it again. Hey, I got some Nigerian army, through this comment, this very press release by Onye Mamachuku, have confirmed that IPOB is a state actor. Now, why do the army chief say that they don't know what IPOB is fighting for? If IPOB they call non um, non state actors, they say they are terrorists. They are this. They are that. After all the blackmail, if Nigerian army can confess that IPOB told, not that IPOB threatened, not that IPOB um, terrorized Ndibo, not that IPOB killed Ndibo, Igbo youth and stopped them from joining army, that IPOB discouraged Igbo youth, it shows that IPOB is the state actor. A confirmation, then let us read. But you reviewed it. 
or not they happen. But when we analyze it, it will be against the writer. But you were comfortable when you were reading it. But after our analysis, you will confirm you have messed up. I have to say, I'm a little bit. If the child is all the highest, we put it to the air. He got what you need to be. So let us read. Thank you. What you could describe IPOB as band of terrorists. Band of terrorists. So the Nigerian and um, the Igbo youths that did not join the army, IPOB blow the, uh, uh, um, play the sound of terrorism. You see? So uh, encouraging them, oh sorry, discouraging them from joining army have become a band of terrorism. Do you see it? These are the people that need peace. They need one night. It is a band of terrorism, but we have reasons. The reasons are at the top. They will read it out. One of, not all, I, IPOB have not submitted their reasons to you, but go and read my write-up there. The description there at the top of this program. If the army read it finish, they will get the point. If you read it, because I'll still read it for you. Let me read your own first. Just be reading that one at the top. In <laughs> Nigeria, I'm talking to you. Today, I feel this is a state actor. Okay. Onye Mamachuku described IPOB as a band of terrorists and militia. We blow band for them. Okay. Responsible for dragging the Southeast region into economic ruin. It is now economic ruin. The same army, this is their defense so, because they knew we, present, we have presented our people the crimes of the army. Are you understanding? Now, our people have reported to the army, our people in politics have told the army that our people are complaining over the killings of our youth by the army. And the army have no defense to this now see their diversion. They need to blackmail IPOB. Are you understanding? Instead of them to tell our people the reason why they killed them, the reason why they sent army to be killing them, today you want them to join army. Which one? The one that died. So after you have killed our people mercilessly, carrying them, videoing them, showing their dead bodies, showing them everywhere, carrying them in your hill also. Uh, we discovered seven graveyards so after Python dance. I have not come to that because I will reach to that place. Thank you. Good morning. Do you understand? They say we play band of terrorists and the militia. Right? That we are now responsible. What do they say about the economy? Okay, they said we are responsible for dragging. Do you see it? Now you see that they sponsor the criminal in agent in, in Finland. People that enforce it at home. Eh? Look at them. They say they drag Southeast into economic ruin. Are you understanding? You see their own reply to Igbo politicians who have told them the reason our people are giving that the army have been killing them and Nigeria do not take them as part of Nigeria now instead of the army to apologize over the killings of our youth as the politicians presented to them <coughs> he turned around and start blaming IPOB for economic ruin do our people complain the economy for you you see black men, you see how army drive, you see how they die, you see Agma Bali Cha press the Lizuna on Alani. Right? You see how they be diving. Why do your people not join in the army? IPOB told them not to join the army. The army asked the politician, what is their reason? Because they made con consultations. They call different places. They have their agents, they have their people working for them, politicians. That will give them report. These are their in, in, in informants. They are political office holders, but they are the ones that are informants. 
their duty is to bring get how our people feel particular on a particular issue then table it to government government to look into it and know the next pattern so they consulted those people why are they not joining the army they said the IPOB told them did you not hear IPOB press release so Nigerian army to defend this to prove to the people that IPOB um, that they did not kill our people that they are not been tormenting our people that they are not been punishing our people they now turn to, to blackmail IPOB as if the people in Biafra land do not know that they have been witnessing artificial insecurity. Because IPOB have been taking the responsibility of our people since day one. So how come our IPOB will be killing them? Bringing economies um, ruin? No. They knew when IPOB suspended it at home. They knew the people that did it. And today, Nigerian army have never separated them. This is what the man is returning, economic, as a response, why we do not join the army. Ask yourself, if this is a working country, will they divert from the presentation and move into economy? Because IPOB is their nightmare. So, the same way they have been using IPOB, as the government of Nigeria have been using the IPOB as their defense before their citizens, until the economy touch the citizen. The citizens now discover that IPOB is not their problem. This government has been stealing their resources, using it, sharing it, telling them it's IPOB, they are using it to fight war. And they are, they, when they saw they fell, they did not need to kidnap Namdekano as a result of squandering their money. Now, hoping to destroy IPOB so that they will use IPOB to give account of their failure. They will say, the economy was squandered. We use it to stop IPOB. We use it to fight IPOB. Are you not happy? We use the resources to fight IPOB. Even if you are hungry and Nigeria is not divided, are you not happy? That was the last statement, the only defense the Nigerian government kept for themselves. But when we destroyed them, they have no other defense. Until the citizens discover that they are hungry. The citizens run out of patience, run out of lies. The lies of government could have let us defeat IPOB. Could have let us defeat IPOB. And they are dying in hunger. And the people say, no, no, for bad government. That's when we know we have defeated them. They have known their problem. IPOB is no longer the war. Now let us move again. Thank you. Thank you. Can be hearing the noise. So let me read again. Uh -huh. They will ask me, why did you publish it? Right? Because I ain't gonna open a radio there. <laughs> we studied critical thinking in the faculty of superior argument. Our lecturer and other lecturers. He's the chief lecturer. So let us continue. The Nigerian army described the IPOB, let me not go there, they repeated it. Now they continue. The Nigerian army has again cautioned the proscribed, let me just read it like that. Proscribed, if we are not proscribing the world, we are proscribing Nigeria, it is normal. It is normal, the government must come up with that. So the world does not take it serious. So that is first weapon of the government, blackmailing you. One thing is that you, f you must refuse to dance in their tune. Don't do what they call you. Somebody can call you a thief. Not a problem. You see women, smart they call them as well. It doesn't kill. Your problem is, the issue is, are you doing it? No, simple. So forget the blackmail. So we continue. <coughs> the Nigerian army, the Nigerian army has again cautioned the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra. Okay, let me just say, um, the Nigerian army have again cautioned indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, against issuing an unpatriotic, as if we have been patriotic Nigerians, unpatriotic warning to youth of the Southeast to shun the ongoing 
recruitment into the army. What does that tell you? That IPOB is a state actor. <laughs> if we can not threaten, no, we can caution our people. Not threaten. We can explain to our people not killing them, not terrorizing them. If we can address our people on press release and they refuse to join the army when they were state actor, when they, a confirmation from Onye Mawachuku, IPOB is a state actor. By his as what is written, that IPOB stop their citizens, they have been telling the world they are ruling, that IPOB is a problem. So if Nigeria had been good to our people, why will our people listen to IPOB? Another, another gunshot on their leg. They have shot themselves on the leg. They will, they will make another press release. I think you are coming again. No problem. Come again. Because this one is dead. 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 Dead on arrival. I have not started analyzing. You know, I'm just reading. Reading your press release. Then channeling the mindset of our people. Connecting it, you know. And hey. The people are hand jam again at comment section. They deal with you. Anywhere they jam in comment section, they deal with you. Man, how they get paid. They have confirmed we are state actors. How can we control your citizen? Not to join your I army. Mean, I think you claim you are a citizen. They are your citizen. You don't know what IPOB is doing. So IPOB can discourage your citizen from joining the army. Eh? Oh. Hey, IPOB is dead. It don't exist. I ask you, are you Nigerian government? No. No, go and sit down. Hey, no more ESN. Or are you a Catholic in the bush? The answer is no. Or you go and sit down. I don't know. Even a Igbo man cannot tell you about ESN. Even me, I don't know about you. I can't tell you about ESN. Until I turn to a Catholic I must jam them one day. Just turn to a Catholic If you'll be moving freely, uh, one day you'll jam them. Uh, at least if you cut clear your cow at least six months in the bushes and farms, uh, uh, eight months, you have not encountered ESN. Uh, you come and tell us there is no ESN. Sit your house in our queen as only believe. Nigeria is giving results, not noise. They said we control their citizens. How can we control their citizens because we are state actors? They did not say we threaten their citizens. They did not say we kill Igbo youths. They did not say we threaten Igbo youths. They did not say we terrorize Igbo youths. They say we discourage Igbo youth. Because we are state actors. Did we tell the governor to leave? No. Did we pursue the senator? No. Are they not occupying their offices? They are occupying. Are they not claiming to be doing well? And ruling our people? They are claiming. Then how come? You call us non-state actors. We come and control national <laughs> projects. Control our people away from it. And you are still telling us you don't know what IPOB is doing. You will know it the day we declare the offer. You will know it. I'm going to The way not. You will still write again. They will be killing us. You will be defending them. You will be defending them. That's the position they will put you. That's why you can never be removed. Your lies is, is a, a patriotic Nigeria. You must hate an evil man to become righteous. If you are not hating an evil man, you will go to heaven. You will go to hell in Nigeria. So even if you commit crime, just show them you hate evil man. Automatically, you are accepted in the kingdom. You see, for Nyama Wachuku to return that position, return it even from Tinu uh, Buhari's government day to day, when day you can lie and you can hate your people. For Nyama Wachuku, you are number one in hating your people. Because for a Yoruba man self to be pardoned, you must hate Igbo man. A, a terrorist, if you become a terrorist leader now, Boko Haram terrorist, if you just contribute and tell them how to torture Igbo man or give them one brain on how to touch this policy, then Igbo man will suffer. Then you are, you are righteous. You're completely righteous. Go and ask Reno Mokri. It's just a recent um, confirmation. 
Right? Now my baby is a state actor. Do we can now? We can control. Eh? Without gun, no. <laughs> Without gun, not be here now. Without gun, we discourage. I've not come to our point. Too. It is written there at the top of the program that I'm just analyzing there right up. Only my watch. Look where. Only she. Only the kuchitra no da mi only ibo. See that keep me boy. We continue. This is contained in a statement by the Director, Army Public Relations, Major General Onyema Nwachuku, on Tuesday in Abuja. Nwachuku described the call as a brazen yet fertile attempt to undermine national unity and coexistence. You see, now you know. If our people join the army in mass, that means Nigeria is one. Understand this. Eh? Understand this. You are one mega when I post. Somebody is by your side who can score it. According to him, this reckless and misguided statement circulated in the media urges the youth circulated in the media Chai, I know one is more one but one idiot to tell you are you sure they are listening to what you are saying saying you should one idiot you will fool come to the Kuba and I'm on their house now they are watching it Ubu announce them they, they have their duty they are wrong if they don't do it they will fail they cannot be blind like you these are people who monitors their oppositions they con they are people are in charge you may play with our our broadcast but the government does not play with it you may play with our post even if you made a post on Salem Biafra it got to only two likes it's not the business Allow it, don't be discouraged. Yes, you know the message is positive in our struggle against the government. Hmm? Leave that post. You send it to the government. Like or no like or share. They have seen it. They are working on it. Some of your posts is what Nigeria is working on. <laughs> your comment, one of your comment, only one of your comment. They are still working on it. Three months they are working on it. One of your comments, too, and you think we are not relevant. One idiot to come and discourage you and say, Hey, hey what you are saying? Do you think they are listening? Or can move on? Don't listen to idiot. Continue. Thank you. Thank you. So look at it. Now let us continue. Let me read it once and analyze. Because let me go one broadcast this morning. I just finished one now. Okay, let me continue. They said circulated in the media urges the youth to shun the ongoing Nigerian Army 88 regular recruitment intake RRI exercise the Nigerian army finds it necessary to reaffirm that youths from the southeast have time and again demonstrated unwavering patriotism and the commitment by feeling their posts in various military and paramilitary recruitment, he said. He said that they also participated in the civil service of federal military department and agencies. Despite IPOBs, you see, it's not the, okay, let, let me finish it. L wait, till, I want to destroy his claim now. Somebody has told the world his failure and his cry and his pain 
He now come to smooth it, then see it. That's how they range the brain of Nigerians. This is to digest the brain of Nigerians. To run away from the truth, they have tabled at the top. Then look at it now. Despite IPOB's baseless treat, they have turned it to a treat. Do you understand? Basle, press the list is treat. Baseless treats, the ongoing registration for the 88 RRI has witnessed an encouraging tumult of applicants from the southeast. Then, who is now asking you? Did you explain last year? No. Did you explain this thing last two years? No. Then, why are you explaining if your agenda have come true? Why are you complaining? If our people turn out to register and join your army, why are you complaining? Why are you crying on the media? Why are you complaining? Automatically you fail. Automatically we are state actor. Automatically we have taken a position. This is how we'll be doing it until you will no longer see your presence here. The only presence is the army. That's all. Army is not a sign of in charge of territory. It is the civilian submission to the government that the army is under. If our land rejects you, your army operation is useless. If governors can call for an environmental that is clean up and send out the police and vigilante to catch people, there is nothing, that is to say nobody is loyal to the government. If governors, because those simple common exercises supposed not to be enforced, people should do it willingly, clean up. Are you understanding? Clean up. But you do it by force. Anything you do here must be by force. Means that the, you are not in charge of the people. Show me one voluntary exercise. Anything you do. The army here is on. If you say you want to do for security something, you are torturing our people. That is it. So, I will not be moving forward on that. Let me go to my write-up and finish the program. If your recruitment is going well, why are you complaining? Simple. Thank you, my brother. It's not going well. You are crying just to <laughs> make Nigeria happy. The same way you used, you put Tinubu and told them to <laughs> let us continue now. Nah? Let us continue. Continue till tomorrow. So let me go and um, analyze our right up there. Very, very important. No, not this one. Uh -huh. Look at the one I'm looking for. What did I write here? Headquarter Nigeria Army. So, when you was carrying out Obi Ibo massacre, Olo massacre, Aba massacre, Afaruku massacre, Emene massacre, Mbon massacre, Eboni massacre, Igwacha massacre, Onisha massacre, Head Bridge massacre, you don't know that there will be army recruitment. So you don't know them. That time is coming when you will recruit army from the southeast. You see how all of you, the same thing will happen to you. Stay the same tomorrow. You are still killing us today. Tomorrow you come and uh, uh, this one you just tell the people, uh, you are just telling uh, your name I say, but the recruitment is going well. Just to tell the world that Nigeria is still one. Shame on you. Have you ever seen America complain about recruitment of army? How many countries have complained that they about a, a region? How they are replying or complying over recruitment? Tell me a country that have said it. If things are well, as you want to claim below, then why are you coming up to show up? You see? You see it? When a mate wants to leave, if you like you, allow him or her. If you don't like you, allow him or her. Hence, she or he have decided to leave. Every day, one glass cup will break. The next morning, I will break the key. When I'm on the process of opening the key, 
I'll break the key. You'll come and beat me. I do me the next tomorrow. I break breakable plate. You will never have peace until I leave. I must leave. So if you need, we expect that IPOB one day will make you happy. You are dreaming. Challenge us with referendum. So you can kill us for protesting in solidarity with Donald Trump in Ibuacha, 20th of January 2017. You killed us in Onitsha too, was the people you killed in Onitsha. 30th of August 2015, 29 injured. Black Sunday, it was on Sunday. We changed our profile picture to Black Sunday. Are you understanding? We memorized it now. So now, you also killed us in National High School by 9th of February 2016. So you don't know you recruit army then. So you don't know. Yeah, you massacre us. You throw us tear gas in a, in a school that have fence. We were in a field praying. You throw tear gas. You cover what we cannot see again. You started shooting. You started shooting. So you don't know you recruit army. Now you want to tell. After confessing IPOB have defeated you, you are now telling, but uh, we can record a few you know, a, a number, a turn up, a turn out from the east. He's telling you that uh, the IPOB treaty is come to uh, full time. Why are you complaining? Just to tell the world that um, <laughs> uh, Nigeria is still working. There are one, as if the world don't know, that this is a Ibophobia country. It doesn't exist. Ibophobia country. So we continue. You killed us in um, Mbo. Daybreak. 29. Stroke 30 May. You even went to the hospital and took those that we took to the hospital. You went and took them and killed them. Those that fell inside Gota, you went there and put them as you. You packed the dead bodies of our people in our um, bar and go to the Tabarak. You dig a graveyard there. You throw our people, you cover it. So look, are you doubting us? Then ask me, In short, go to the Tabarak and I go there now. Go there, you, you. They will show you where they throw us our dead bodies. They killed us, 29th to 30th May. When we are doing our tattered men, they went to even Catholic church. They go there and shoot. And then Paul. That's where some of our people were sleeping, waiting for tattered men. They surrendered there, they were shooting. If you come out, they will be shooting in a church. Can you do it in mosque? No. Now 2016, 2017, then January, because we don't give you allegation. Any, we are telling you the one that happened. 20th of January, 2017. Okay, let I have not, I am crossing, please. Okay, I have not reached there. 20th of January, 2017, IPOB was protesting in solidarity with Donald Trump in Igocha. We were massacred by the government. Right? They burned the Biafran flag, burned it to ashes, Born American flag, born into ashes, born Israeli flag, born into ashes. This Nigerian army, they born into ashes. And you know the offense. Right? Now, we continue. Reaching on um, September 14, Python Dance 2017, they massacred us. Not only in Afaroku, the whole of the Afralam, they block roads. They were killing people, diverting vehicle, boat Abakaliki Road, boat Anambara, boat to the whole road in our other state. They, they drive your vehicle inside the bush. They kill all of you. You saw some, they were rolling inside water, inside the bush. You saw the video. You saw those beside the main road. Anywhere they like, they kill you. They massacre people. We discovered seven graveyards after fight and dance. Seven. Then, Obi Ibu Massacre, Olo Massacre, Emene Massacre, Emene 23rd of August 2020, Olo Massacre, from 2020 to today. 
to be Ibo massacre. So you don't know that Ibo people will be needed to join the army today. Don't worry. So you don't know that today you will need people to join the army. To make yourself happy. As Nigerians, when a Yoruba one content creator, because Nigeria now is now a content creator country. People that their government did not give job. Small time they say they monetize them. Everybody become lazy. Everybody become foolish. A content content creator country. When they come across the that's okay, hey. Igbo people later join the army, but Igbo people later join the army. That's how they shaped their brain to, to be. Small, see their brain. They will be reading it. Ah, why did IPOB do like that? Why do these Igbo people listen to IPOB? They will be reading, reading. When they read to the it's okay. <laughs> Thank God. Igbo people later join the army. We are one Nigeria. That's why they wrote that. <laughs> they know that the brain of their citizens is like this. Small. Hey, let us watch ahead. Let us watch ahead. With the Tinubu, no problem. Let us watch ahead. Their vote become rubbish because their brain is like this. Hey, what can you do now? Let us watch ahead with the government in power now. Let us move ahead. No consistency. Move ahead again. Even if it will remain a day for his tenor to finish. Continue pressuring, condemning evil. Hey, let us watch ahead. Now let us not drag Nigeria into mortal. Uh, you know we are facing wars of division in Nigeria. Let us not fight the Nubu government. Let us leave him to hold this country. Let us uh, be with him. Their brain is like this, citizens. <laughs> they forge ahead. It's not at the chat. Hey, bad government, bad government, bad government. Those people that told the that they forge ahead with together, they start looking at them and say, look at, look at. Are you not the one who accepted we should forge ahead? Why are you not complaining? <laughs> Smart that they have put down. You understand? Hey, fire must come down. Oh, rest must come down. Right? Now forge ahead be the thing. Now forge ahead. But you see, if you don't relent, you, you understand? Nah, I, I, how can we be? You know, we are facing division in this country. Uh, and they can I feel be the one to divide this country. Now, nah, let us leave Tinubu. Let us forge ahead. <laughs> they forge ahead. And that's how you thought that our brain is like that, Abby. You thought our brain is like that. So, we must continue. Our people must continue to push. We we'll keep exposing them. The more, thank you, my brother, the more they come up with news, the more we tell them where they are going. It's our way now. We push you, tell you where to fall. That is IPOB. Thank you, Muchineke. Always hate criminality in our land. Always condemn evil in our land. Always protect the achievement of our people in our land. If we are living in our houses and restore Biafra, it is not a crime. If our people are, comp if we did not kill our people and restore Biafra, it is not a crime. Let the government come and kill us. Let us know that the people killing us. Do not join any people that will kill our people and tell you they want to give you Biafra. It is a crime before God, before man. Before nature, you can never kill me and my children while because you want to build a house for me. When they ask you, you say, I am sabotaging the house you want to build for me. What actually led you to kill me? Because I don't like the, how, the type of house you want to build for me. You claim to build for me. So it's better I live in that house. So why are you killing me? Must you force me to build a house for me? And these are the questions you must ask. Please, why must you kill my brother? Because you want to kill, be the house for me. You killed my uncle. You say he's a sabotaging the house you want to build for us. You killed my cousin. You say he's a saboteur. He don't accept the house you want to build for us. 
You killed my wife. You say the reason is because he's sabotaging the new house you want to build. She's sabotaging the new house you want to build for us. I say, ah, what kind of house is this? He say it's a Biafra. I, I want to give you Biafra. So you kill my brother. You kill my children. You kill my wife. Kill my cousin. Kill my uncle. Killed my aunt. To build a new house for us. Reject it. Do you understand? Don't join it. Don't join criminality. Reject it. Reject it. In the name of Biafra, reject it. Of any kind, reject it. The people supporting the killings of our people are not evil people. They are enemies of our land. Ask yourself, why is their operation in only Igbo states? Why don't they extend it to other regions, other places they call South South, but I could be oppressed there. So why do they face here? So their own Biafra is only five. That is to say they are agent of division to tell you that Biafra is about Southeast. That is where they do the agitation. They are the face of the government. They pose their treat on our people, the same people that they, they are pushing in Lagos, the same people they hate in the North, the same people they hate in government, the same people people is the people Simon and their gang is killing. They never extend their Biafra to any state. It's only in Igbo. So reject such things, reject such activities. Nobody can kill all your relatives. Any of your relatives that ask, ah, go in Abbasaja, they kill him. He say, nah, he's a sabo. You go and greet a politician. They kill you, burn down your house. Somebody bring rice to share for the for, uh, to the community. You come back with your own. They come and burn down your house. They say you collect rice from Sabo. You are a politician. When they reject it, reject it. Reject it is not freedom. Reject it, they are working with government. You cannot kill me to give build a house for me. You cannot kill my daughter. You cannot kill my son. You cannot kill my cousin. You cannot kill my my let me do a, a separate broadcast for this. Let me do this. This one will be a third one.